Although from now on we shall think of a fluid as a continuum with no gaps, the properties of that fluid depend on its molecular nature. For example, let's think about the pressure on a piston face, considering a gas with molecular mass m. So let's consider a molecule bouncing off the piston face, and for now we shall imagine that it bounces off elastically. The momentum change on collision is proportional to the mass of the molecule times its speed, and I shall use the index i there to represent each molecule with i from 1 to n. And the number of collisions per unit area per unit time is proportional to the number of molecules per unit volume, nv, times the speed of each molecule. If the speed of the molecules is zero, then there will be no collisions, and if it's large, then there will be many collisions on the face of the piston. So the pressure on the piston is the force on the piston divided by its area, and that is the average rate of change of momentum of the molecules hitting the piston divided by the area, and that is equal to the two above quantities multiplied together. I'll label them 1 and 2. You multiply them together and then take a time average where 1 is the momentum change on collision and 2 is the number of collisions per unit area per unit volume. So let's run through the working. That's equal to some constant, which I shall not define yet, times the number of molecules per unit volume, nV, times the molecular mass, times the speed of the molecules squared, and that's all averaged. And that's equal to, if I just rearrange it, a constant times nV times mVi squared averaged. And I'll rearrange this expression into nV times m. Now that is the number of molecules per unit volume times the mass of each molecule, so that's just the density then a term in the middle that I shall simply call the gas constant, and a final term, the average of mVi squared upon 2, the kinetic energy of the random motion of the molecules, and that is the temperature. So we put this all together into a form that we're much more familiar with. P, the pressure, is equal to the density, times R, the gas constant, times T, the temperature, which is the ideal gas equation of state. And this is an example of a situation in which we have derived a relationship between the continuum properties of a fluid by considering its molecular nature. And one can do similar analyses for specific heat capacities, for viscosity, and for other properties of the continuum.